There are so many people who have distorted so much. Source comes through to any of you who are asking, but you've got to get yourself into that receiving mode so that you can hear. But in your feeling of unworthiness or in your feeling of personal not enoughness, so often you look to others to do your translating for you. And the thing that you do that trips you up the most is that so often you're not even looking for that real time instinctual information that will come. Instead, you're looking for it in those old books that have been written and buried and changed for the benefit of so many. And so you come to believe in things that never were. It isn't that God was wrathful and now has changed. He was never wrathful. He was always as we are talking now. It's always been a non-physical source of love, but humans get things all distorted and then you get in your fearful place and then you try to scare each other with it. You get together in your religious clubs. That's what they are, religious clubs. And you say, those who are leading the group say, these are the rules if you want to be part of this prestigious religious club. These are the rules and you must keep these rules. Do not do those things and do do these things. And so you decide you want to be part of that club enough that you keep those rules. But then you look around at others. Of course, you weren't. You were a rule breaker. But you look around at others who are not keeping the rules and seem to be thriving. And you say, what's going on? They're not keeping the rules. And then they say to you, this is the biggest trick of all. Oh, you cannot evaluate it through your own life experience. You have to die. And in the afterworld, that's when you'll find out whether the rules were right, whether you kept the right rules or whether you didn't them or not.